Hello my friends, 3KO Games here. We have some brand new Toon costumes to talk about today. Costume Summon is back. Masquerade is back. And we now are almost through with our Season 1 Five Star Heroes. Um, I think Justice is left. Uh... Is there anybody else left? I'm not sure. But this time we have Elena getting a Toon costume. Let's take a look at Elena. Five-star uh, red fighter, same as the original. The original was a slow speed at 202% damage to all enemies and then counterattack for caster and nearby with 125% of the damage received for five turns. Let's see how they boosted that with this Toon costume. So the counterattack takes a very small hit, um, down to 120% of the damage received for five turns. But the actual damage up front takes a huge boost, 352% damage to all enemies. And extra damage against nature. That was 202, now th uh, an, an extra 150% damage to all enemies. Still at slow speed, um, so you know she's usable in in rush tournaments for sure. Um, but I don't know with the way they keep buffing these tune heroes. Maybe you're willing to just bring in slow heroes on your ordinary raid defense, your ordinary war defenses, um, because they just keep buffing them higher and higher and higher. Um, so Elaine is going to be really strong gets that counterattack and a huge upfront damage to all enemies and even more against nature. Um, I guess the big news is that, you know, we keep this tune passive, 75% extra chance to resist all status ailments, mana reductions, and buff dispels. And of course, when you're playing against them, that 75% is more like 100%. Um, and then they just received another increase in costume bonus so it was 40 40 60 maybe 65 or something like that but now we get a 50 percent attack bonus 50 percent defense bonus 70 percent health bonus so you look at these maxed out stats you know approaching 1500 on both attack and defense um you know you'd expect 1500 on one of the two just because the character is lopsided but for elena she's really well balanced almost 1500 if you go all the way double limit break and up to 25 nodes on the emblems and then 3189 on health that's just so much they're gonna be so hard to uh, to deal with, especially a counterattacker like Elena, where you can't, where you can't dispel, <laughs> or you don't have a good chance of dispelling anyway. Especially if you flank her with other tune costumes, uh, you know what are you going to do? They're just going to keep counterattacking, and you just got to try to go go for the other, the other heroes, the single heroes. Maybe bring in some snipers and just worry about them for a while. Elena is going to be a great hero, for sure. Um, the other people that are featured, we have two four stars. We have two three stars. Four star cash wreck. Meh. <laughs> the original was 45% health and 94% plus 94% defense against fire. Three turns. So, Toon is 48% health for the caster and nearby allies. allies. Ooh. Extra 3%. Defense against fire is down to 84% plus 84%. Um, but for nature characters, this is status effect becomes undispellable and lasts two turns longer. So if you bring cash wreck on an attack team where you can really stack greens... Uh, could be really useful. Uh, I've never done anything with Cash Wreck. Uh, Hu Tao, I do have at least, I think, the first costume uh, uh, maxed out. I never, I forgot that there was a second costume. I don't know if I have it. Um, but now we've got a Toon costume. The original dealt 
210% damage to all enemies and gave all enemies negative 40% accuracy for four turns. I always love that accuracy down and I use Hu Tao in like four star rush tournaments uh, sometimes. Um, now we are giving that upfront damage a little bit of a boost, 240% damage to all enemies. And the blind decreases just a little bit to negative 34% accuracy for four turns. But this also deals extra damage against dark. And, of course, stat bonus, it's not quite as high as the five star. But with four star uh, tune costumes, we get a, a costume bonus of 17% attack, 17% defense, 22% health, and 5% mana. The mana bonus itself is, you know, usually worth um, leveling up that costume. Um, so there's Hu Tao. And now we have some three stars, Nashgar and Friar Tuck, both of whom I've done nothing with ever. Um, the original Friar Tuck, 30%. 37% health for the caster and nearby allies. And plus 24% mana generation for three turns for caster and nearby allies. It's just so hard to deal with a healer that's only caster and and nearby. Uh, because you don't really want to put him as a tank. But, yeah, anyway, there's Friar Tuck. And now we are recovering 40% health. For caster and nearby, a little bit more. And then the caster and nearby allies get plus 12% mana generation for three turns. For all nature characters, this status effect becomes undispellable and lasts two turns longer. So, I guess on offense, you get some more nature characters. But wow, that's just not impressive. <laughs> they barely increased the healing and they greatly reduced the mana generation um this isn't this is not a great tune costume you know i just feel like take somebody like friar tuck who you know you pull you pull him a hundred thousand times nobody uses him and give him a tune costume that everybody says oh hey let's uh uh, you know, let's actually like put him in a three-star tournament for uh, for something. But that costume just is not good. I mean, the the stats I guess are the only thing worth it. Fifteen percent, fifteen percent, twenty percent, five percent. Um, you do get that tune passive, but ugh, do better, do better, SG. Show a little love to those three-star heroes. I'm really hoping that when they finally get Dawa a uh, tune costume, that she's just going to wreck everything. Like, it's going to be... <laughs> Give Dawa some love. Let's start a campaign. Uh, Nashgar is the last new tune costume. Was 290% damage to, to 1 with 246, uh, 246 burn damage over 6 turns. We get a very small increase, but at least, you know, increased in all the bullet points, unlike Friar Tuck, 295% damage and 256 burn damage over four turns. So a little more burn, a little more quickly, and it deals extra damage against nature. Have never done anything with Nashgar, um, but that tune costume makes it a, a little bit better. So there's that. Nash Gar. Um, also featured is Richard, who hits like a truck. Um, would be great to pick up Richard or any of these. I have Toon June and Toon Vivica. I finished Toon June, at least up to Limit Break 1. Haven't finished uh, Vivica because I just got a couple other yellow heroes that I'm like, oh, shoot. Um, so I'm double Limit Breaking um, Lemonwood right now, and I think maybe Vivica's... Next, we'll see. Um, hey, I've got a couple pulls here, so let's do those. Um, I ha also have um, some Three Kingdoms, so let's do those quick. And my superstitions. There we go. 
Ooh, one star, come on. The one star, come on. Ugh. There we go. How about one more? No, I want I want two two stars in a row. Okay. Let's do these uh three kingdoms. Seven's got two, so let's just um, grab the Diao Chan costume, right? And maybe Chang -e. Just like that. One and two. <laughs> Wukong. All right. And for <laughs> Iyer Tuck, just because I was making fun of you. Just because. Okay. Going back to the costume sums, I got eight pulls. Let's see what happens. Probably not much. Uh, just because I was making fun of him. There's that Friar Tuck costume. I'm not doing anything with you. Okay. Jahangir, Jahangir, whatever. Um, do have that tune costume and have been using them in three star rush, rush stuff. Gray Mane. Never did anything with Gray Mane. Okay. Well, come on now. Show me some love. Oh, Ishtak. Nope. Come on. Wukong. All right. At least moving in the right direction with some four stars. How about a five star? A little John. Oh, I forgot he had a tune costume. Do I have that already? Who knows? Who cares? Um, here we go. Nope. One more pull. Because I'm short one key to make that two pulls. Come on, a big one here. Hey, Rigard. You know what? I've never pulled his second costume. <laughs> Obviously, he's due for a tune costume pretty soon, but... Um, that's great that I actually got the second costume. Um, so, hey, that's a plus. I'm happy about that. Um, that's the video, everybody. Thanks for checking out the channel. And we'll see you next time.